of the world who still live with spirit. Undiscovered people, relatively few in number, living in inaccessible pockets around the globe. Among their ancestors were those who possessed answers to great mysteries, and they passed down all that they had learned to their apprentices, who, as time passed, became elders themselves and taught their students all that they had come to know. Information distilled and refined and preserved through countless generations. The inheritors are the possessors of an ancient knowledge all but lost to the modern world. This body of knowledge has been referred to as the mystery teachings. These are the arts of the healer and the seer. These are the rituals, the communication with the divine as well as the darkness. And these are the ceremonies, reenacted for as long as anyone can remember, of rites of passage and of thanksgiving all this in service of the people, the caretaking of the village, the age-old practice of the shaman. Shamans were explorers who had, over time, established well-worn paths through the domains of the soul. Maps painstakingly constructed by a long procession of men and women. One of these ancient cultures belonged to the Karo. They live in a severe landscape, high up in the mountains, 17,000 feet above sea level, far away from all others requiring days of travel by horse and foot to reach. Until recently, they've had no contact with the outside world. Their society was unadulterated and their wisdom ancient. They are a window to a very special past. They are believed by some to be direct descendants of the Incas. And among them are a few who still practice the secret arts. But, like most ancient cultures, this one is coming to an end. After three centuries of self-imposed isolation, it is over. Of these people, roughly 200 remain, and their culture will all but disappear within two years. And so the elders have begun to tell the outside world of what they have known, of fitting relationships with the natural universe of practices that heal and inform and empower those who embrace them. Shamans live with an essential understanding that we are intimately connected with all that surrounds us. And so they maintain a dialogue with their environment, with nature, with the plants, and the animals, and with the rivers, and the mountains, and even with the stars. They speak and are spoken to in a way quite foreign to our understanding. These practitioners of the arts possess immense intuition. They can receive guidance from the very rocks themselves. 
Some of them work at a very special altar. It is one that many of the medicine people in South America carry with them. It is called a mesa and is the subject of this film. traveling through the mountains. As our altitude changes, so does the climate. Over the last three hours, we've experienced every kind of terrain from rocky, almost lifeless slopes to, to dark, lush rainforests where exotic flowers grew everywhere you looked and you could smell the moist earth through the open windows of the train. This place is incredible. But that's not the reason we came here. I'm part of a small group. We got to know each other while uh, attending a series of lectures on the practices of, of certain indigenous people. These were ancient American cultures who held a different view of the world than we do today. And this different way of looking at things really seemed to grab a number of us. So much so that we spent the next few years practicing some of the old ways to see if we might benefit to see if even half of what was said was true. It would be impossible to explain everything that happened as a result. But there is one thing I can tell you. We who have enjoyed all that Western civilization has to offer have much to learn from these people. So we decided to travel to the source of these teachings to see this land for ourselves, to feel its history. We have made plans to visit certain sacred sites, and if all goes well, to take part in some ancient ceremonies very few people have ever seen. We've managed to get to South America, to Peru, to a place where Inca shamans still exist. <laughs> 